so we will see an overview on qualitative research and how it is different from uh, quantitative research that we will see in this particular presentation. So this presentation is an overview of qualitative research methods and shall give you a general understanding of qualitative research and what significance it has in social science research including uh, business research. So <coughs> once we are out there let us have a definition of qualitative research. Qualitative research is an attempt to understand a problem or phenomenon through deep insight and understanding with the help of numerical data. So since we generally avoid to have numerical data in such studies, so in case of qualitative research uh, is becomes quite influential technique of performing a research when we are looking into behavioral sciences. Consumer behavior uh, is an important aspect of behavioral science and so that is the relevance of uh, qual uh, qualitative research in case of business research. It helps in generating meaning and understanding about a particular problem. Uh, through rich description and value information. So this is not based on data, this is not based on an empirical study, rather this is based on observation where we take lot of details, every minute uh, event occurring around the particular uh, area of interest is taken into consideration, some of which might have play a role in deciding the issue, some of them might not have, though those things are actually brought into act here. A qualitative research is useful in situation in which the information is in quantitative terms may not be available or may not be necessarily uh, of any help to reach the root of the problem. So here uh, numbers uh, are not either not available or it is not, uh, uh, it cannot be generated in numbers. For example, when a researcher is trying to get information in a complex social environment or dealing with uh, issues related to people's belief, their behavior, their judgment or attitude, then qualitative research is particularly useful. Now some of the things you see people's belief, behavior, judgment, attitude, these are different in an individual setup, these are different in a group setup. When people are in a group, they have one type of attitude, they have one type of behavior, but people are individual, then they have one type of group, one type of behavior. So these are some things which are actually very uh, detailed studies required and uh, numerical aspects cannot help us in this regard. Now let us have a clear distinction between qualitative research and quantitative research. First aspect is the focus. Where is the focus of the qualitative research? Quality or meaning of experience. Uh, quantitative research we have quantities we have frequencies, number of times a particular event occurs. We have its size measured in terms of numbers which it causes magnitude. In terms of psychological roots, qualitative research is in constructivism and quantitative research is in positivism. That is constructivism means we try to construct a theory, we try to develop a, a belief based on the things that we see around us. That is called as constructivism. Positivism means that in quantitative, uh, in quantitative research, we actually take the help of numbers uh, to reach to a solution to the problem or identify the problem. Uh, goals of investigation. In qualitative research, we try to understand, we try to discover and uh, we try to describe the meaning and then we generate some hypothesis related to what we see. For example, if you look at a police in investigation, this comes under a qualitative type of research or a detective investigation or some event happening with someone, maybe it's a health issue, uh, may, maybe it's a psychological issue. Many people have different psychological issues. Now when we look at uh, addressing these psychological issues and coming to a problem uh, or a solution uh, to this problem, then we uh, have to go with qualitative research. Quantitative research helps us to predict, it helps us to control, confirm and test the hypothesis based on numerical uh, values. Uh, design of the qualitative research is flexible, uh, it, it is evolving and it is emerg uh, emerging, uh, it is an emerging area, qualitative research and it is uh, it's very flexible because depending on case to case the things might change. Whereas in case of quantitative research, the research design is quite structured, 
we know that there is a structured questionnaire there is a way of collecting the information there is a way in which we actually note down the information uh, there are specific softwares in which we can feed the data all these things are actually a predetermined way of do, uh, the design is quite predetermined because before you commit the survey before you start the survey or if you before you are actively involved in the research you will make the research design that this is the way in which we will actually catch this issue or uh, at, uh, address this problem now data collection uh, uh, for the, uh, the primary research uh, sorry qualitative research uh, is uh, researcher as the primary instrument here researcher uh, as a primary instrument collect the data especially in consultation with the subject or depending in during the interaction with the subject uh, whereas in quantitative measure some external instruments such as some um, machines tools uh, some uh, survey techniques are applied when we collect data for quantitative research that means we might have a questionnaire we might have something like this uh, to do this okay uh, then next let us go to um, the nature of qualitative research F first is that the uh, qualitative research is exploratory in nature in exploratory research as you know that the researcher does not have very clear idea about the problem at hand so he try to he or she try to explore it out and try to find out the pros and cons of the research through different types of uh, exploratory techniques exploratory techniques are very flexible and they uh, they are not uh, uh, specific here different techniques of randomization etc are not used the basic purpose of an exploratory research is to extract the maximum information possible so that the problem becomes clearer uh, in the next step uh, if you look at the description of this qualitative research it is the heart of the qualitative research the central characteristics of description are specificity and precision in conveying the experience so we have a, a central characteristic of this uh, research is the descriptive part of the research where the characteristics of interest um, the characters whom who will be interviewed from whom the information will be collected these things are very specified in this part of the res research where the activities will be actually done and information will be actually be collected and uh, when you go to the uh, interpretation stage of the research it is the last stage of the research and in this stage uh, the inter all the events that has taken place uh, and the phenomena that has been studied during the uh, research activity are actually interpreted they are presented uh, in such a way that the goal of the research is attained with exploration description and interpretation the qualitative researcher arrives at a complete understanding of a phenomena in a particular setting okay. Okay. now let us uh, take up an example to understand this uh, there's a story from uh, freud who is a, which is, who is a famous uh, philosopher and uh, he had addressed several psychological issues now uh, freud was a uh, was a uh, uh, mental me doctor or a uh, philosopher or a psychologist whichever way you want to present him <coughs> he had a theory and his belief was that dream is wish fulfillment then whatever we dream uh, that is actually what wish we want uh, what we wish what what is our wish in our uh, deep of our heart and that is what is reflected in our dreams uh, now in this context uh, there was an interesting story of how this uh, developed like one person came to him one day uh, with a young boy came, young man came to him the young man told that in my dream i see that my father uh, is either is facing an accident or there something mishap happening with him he is falling down from the staircase getting injured or he is meeting with an accident in the bus now they started discussing about it uh, this issue now the exploration stage starts in the exploratory stage freud discusses with him not only one day but several days freud discusses with him freud finds that this gentleman who came to him is his father whom he is referring to his father is not actually his biological father he was in an orphanage this person has brought him up he has taken care of the child and now the child has grown up to a young man who is sitting in front of freud and he loves his uh, father means uh, the adopted uh, whose adopted son, son he is 
that person he loves his human and there is uh, no uh, artificial uh, affection between the two they love each other as a father is expected to love a son in that way in this case he had a sitting freud had a sitting with the father also in due course of time he can uh, understand that there is a deep sense of love faith and belief between the father and the son even then when he sleeps the son often wakes up um, with the nightmare that his father is attacked by someone his father is meeting with an accident and father has fallen down from the staircase etc now he was not finding any clue accordingly he took a further description and tried made several more sittings with the young man so that freud can understand what is the uh, why this young man was having such dreams after subsequent uh, sittings what freud found out that this particular boy actually is love in love with a girl but the girl does not become a uh, come from a uh, prestigious family uh, he was the daughter of a, a of a coal guard so this uh, he somehow made this girl fall in love with that guy but he knows very well that his father would not accept uh, this relationship and he did not want that his father uh, he did not want his father to feel sorry uh, that he has fallen in love with someone who is not so much acceptable in their society given that fact he actually uh, has uh, uh, stopped meeting that girl and actually their relationship uh, between the young man and that uh, call girl's daughter uh, did not materialize that uh, they, he did not linger it much further as he could understand that his father will not be happy in the relationship he tried to forget that girl but unfortunately he was not able to forget uh, that uh, girl to a great means often uh, means not out of the heart out of the mind uh, not out of the mind the girl was not out of the mind so in due course of time um, he actually in the in his subconscious mind uh, they they subconscious mind is showing me direction that the relationship between him and the girl may materialize only in the absence of his father and uh, that's why he is often in the subconscious mind is giving him an indication that if his father is no more in this world then this relationship can materialize though consciously he has never thought of such an accident or such a possibility but his subconscious mind is showing him the direction and that is coming in the dreams and the dream is showing him wish fulfillment that this is the way in which your wish can be fulfilled so these are all examples of qualitative research the exploratory stage the descriptive stage and in the description new characters are introduced whoever characters the doctor wants to meet uh, he will or possibility is there or extend the further discussion with the subject and then comes the stage of interpretation where he finds that his theory is very well accepted by in this case as well because this was a case where freud found that his theory is not coming true or his theory is not holding good initially the story of that uh, call girl's daughter was not told by that uh, young man so the thing got delayed in this process this is a very famous case so this is the nature of a qualitative research so we proceed forward to the next slide and then we see that how uh, let us look at some methods of qualitative research what are the methods of qualitative research first is the case study method case study method will study in details also uh, in subsequent uh, presentations uh, but here in case study method the example that i gave just now that is nothing but an example of a case study method in the case study method the um, subject uh, uh, actually uh, uh, there is a single subject which may be an individual may be an organization may be an industry and the researcher explores a problem or event or activity of one or more individuals in depth it is a flexible method that can be the basis of any research design it is particularly uh, useful in applied research you see for doing a case study the researcher has to be very thorough with the theory because uh, suddenly one person cannot jump and start a case study because whenever you start a case study you start in the reverse direction generally what you do 
we study the theory, we understand the reasons for, for which this theory is developed, we understand the counter examples of the theory, we understand the ex, uh, exceptions of the theory, where the theory does not hold good, and then we start our research. But case study is a reverse way, like we first start with a case, the case comes to us, we start studying the case, and then we go back and try to find out that how it, this case is related to a particular case. So for that, uh, since it, start, it starts in the reverse order, so it is very necessary that researcher should have thorough knowledge about the theory because he should identify at the end of the study his case is going or being associated to which part of the theory. Okay. Next, let us look at grounded theory. This is another technique of qualitative research method. Uh, uh, in grounded theory, uh, it uh, derives a general abstract theory of a process action and interaction grounded in the views of the participants. Grounded theory got its start in social science research. In grounded theory means whenever you want to uh, challenge a theory or whenever you found that there are contradicting theories uh, coming from two different sides uh, or uh, there, are, there are believers of both the theories which actually uh, yet uh, your stage you feel that they are contradicting uh, each other. In that case, you may take up studies to find out that which theory you should rely upon and which theory you should go with. So whenever you want or you want to find that a theory is there that uh, if you are very polite with uh, children, then children will also uh, become very polite and their behavior will be regulated because this is what uh, they learn at home. Uh, but you may, a particular case may be there or a particular group of students or children you might have observed that whose parents are very polite, even they are polite while they are dealing with the children, but the children are very uh, rafi and they are very rude. So this actually is uh, refers to what uh, theory tells. Just I am giving an example. This uh, just refers to what the theory tells. So you might uh, then uh, try to find out some uh, studies or develop a study on your own to check up whether this uh, theory holds good or the reasons for which the theory is not holding good. Such studies are called as grounded theoretical studies. Then we have anthropography, eth ethnography. Ethnography studies the natural group in a natural setting for a prolonged period of time. Uh, this is quite common in anthropology. In anthropology, when uh, anthropology is studying of groups, culture, tra traditions of different uh, groups, societal build up of different groups of people, their origin, uh, their customs, culture, etc. So whenever you want to perform such study, this is a qualitative research method and where you need to study for a prolonged period to understand and the some uh, obviously some most of the groups that we see around us they are very open open minded if you want someone wants to know about your culture you will be happy to give a discussion you will be happy to take him or her to your cultural events like marriage birth of child uh, then what is the uh, means, uh, naming of the child or whatever event you have in your society yeah, but in some societies in our country, even there are many societies which are very close. They don't allow interference or even uh, presence of people from other uh, groups. Like in Andaman Nicobar Islands, there are some groups, uh, they are called Jarwa groups. Uh, and then mm, these are not, uh, these people are not yet to be civilized. So they are actually, they don't favor or they don't like to. Uh, be in ta uh, may, uh, come to the proximity of people of the civilized world. Now, if someone wants to know about their lifestyle, many people have known also, many studies are there, their lifestyle, uh, what they food they eat, how they believe, uh, what are their faith, etc. And uh, then uh, these studies are called ethnographic studies, which is a qualitative research method. Then there is phenomenology. It ident identifies the essence of human experience it usually used in philosophy and these are not group studies here the subject is not a group of individual but generally a single individual it uh, be, uh, tells uh, about different human experiences uh, that means a uh, few, few days ago i was reading a study that a psychologist is actually in uh, studying uh, some people who were at a stage of coma and then they recovered from the stage of coma and now leading a normal life now at the stage of coma, though there are many physical movements, all the movements were restricted, almost they were uh, like unconscious. But some people were experienced something like a dream during their coma period. So what they dreamt, that was 
the thing did they get a feeling that the soul is leaving the body uh, these type of things were in the discussion in phenomenology uh, about the essence of human experience and then there are some narrative approaches uh, these uh, studies are the stories uh, that individuals provide about their life and their experiences so just one minute please Sorry, if someone is there in the door. Okay. Anyway, so coming back to this, uh, let us look at that. What are the qualitative data? Means what type of things are there in the when we speak about the data of qualitative data? First is that uh, it is in the form of something. Obviously, there are not quantities. Uh, hence, we have data in the form of some text, some notes, some transcripts, some photographs, some video, etc. Uh, these are the ways in which the data data forms of uh, qualitative data qualitative data is typically obtained from sources such as interviews focus group observations and from documents so interviews may be one to one interview or many to one interview also uh, there may be focus group interviews where some people who are actually working in this particular field who actually have different dimensions not the same dimensions a different dimension someone may be customer someone may be manufacturer someone may be marketer of that particular product some may be wholesale uh, marketer some retail sales someone associated with advertisement of the product all of them sit together and discuss on the issue and uh, there will be a moderator who will take a note of all these things this will give an uh, in, uh, in depth uh, information about the things from his experience and then we have uh, some observations uh, these are uh, we will note down this uh, we will note down these observations uh, which we observe these observe may be observing directly or through observing through some uh, technology with the help of technology like video recording etc and then then we have the documents also uh, like uh, some previous past documents some scraping some uh, information in the form of letters etc data is collected from one and several or all of these sources the researcher needs to provide a justification of the method used in data collection he needs to explain why the method that is proposed is most appropriate so there this data collection may take place in using different method not only one method because one method uh, may be actually substantiated by some other method and so on this is why how uh, the data is been collected now we have qualitative data analysis method have three basic steps uh, preparing and organizing the data is the first step this includes uh, transcribing uh, interviews organizing field notes uh, from observations and ensuring that all documents are available and included in the process of analysis so preparing and organizing the data second step comes with the reducing the data into themes like calling data elements in creating and developing categories uh, for this presenting data in a narrative or a graphical form 
since the thing is uh, non numeric so presentation is sometimes very difficult uh, generally presentation is done uh, in in a, in a small time frame uh, with uh, uh, very specific description so it is the responsibility of the researcher that how to present the data which is qualitative in nature uh, sometimes in diagrams are used sometimes in the forms of uh, tables this uh, organization is done so this is how uh, are the three basic steps in which the qualitative data analysis is done in qualitative research data analysis process is flexi flexible and designed to meet the needs of the study but it generally follows an established protocol that uh, relies on a rigorous methodical approach in such research the process of analysis of data and preparing results mm -hmm. are not a distinct step by interrelated and often occur simultaneously uh, now these things actually this is a uh, qualitative research and um, process data collection analysis interpretation these are relatively new in the field of research and so there are no very not very specific well defined established norms or rigorous methodical approaches are yet to be developed uh, some methods are there which generally can be utilized for solving these issues as we have already discussed about focus group interview about taking the issue with the subject uh, involving more uh, characters which are maybe associated with the subject uh, looking at issues where which similar issues which has uh, taken place in other organizations and individuals and how they were solved these are the different approaches and there is no particular approach and that this is the only way of solving the problem in case of qualitative research uh, the process of data analysis is, is uh, not a distinct uh, but uh, these are occur depending on the requirement so these are some issues with the qualitative research now there is a need of validating the quality uh, qualitative research which is not so much necessary in case of quantitative quantitative research in qualitative research validity is the ultimate means of judging the relevance of data this depends on certain factors such as trustworthiness credibility dependability and conformity of conformity of data for example suppose one person is very selfish one person is very selfish we study his past we study his present we study the people around him and we found that he had a very disturbed childhood where his parents were not actually uh, means a lot of uh, selfishness he has seen uh, in his parents even towards each other uh, or towards their own family members and accordingly this is the thing which he has cultivated um, now but then uh, in uh, this are there might be other events also which might actually triggered his selfishness uh, and that the his parents since the his there his parents might not be available for an interview or a case study but is based on the uh, information provided by other uh, this might be quite biased so uh, means uh, the credibility of the findings of a qualitative research is often difficult to attain it is difficult to justify and often it can be put to some amount of challenge in any research approach the researcher make may take steps to ensure the accuracy and validity of their research findings obviously it is the responsibility of the researcher accuracy means accuracy in data collection data collection in this um, uh, qualitative research does not mean numerical level but collection of information uh, support etc and then what are the fi research findings associated with with this uh, Creswell identifies eight different strategies uh, that qualitative researcher uses to ensure the validity of their findings. So, eight different strategies the quality for validity. There are eight different steps which Creswell has identified. Uh, now, testing the validity of the research. First is the prolonged engagement and persistent data collection uh, ensures that the researcher does not draw. Draw conclusions depending on an isolated area or experience with the phenomena. Now here, as you see, as the for example, I take an example, uh, interesting example. Means in my university, uh, I was at some point of time, okay, uh, there is a post called as Dean of Students Welfare. So I was a, uh, I was in that post for some time. So Dean of Students Welfare. So Dean of Students Welfare means all student-related activities. 
yeah, you have to uh, be in control you have to understand uh, you have to uh, you have to uh, all the events in the hostel hostel admission control over all the transportation facilities like buses and all and any other student related affairs and scholarship um, and then all these things you have to look after now there was an interesting case of a girl in a girls hostel who actually uh, probably she uh, means the basic uh, what she she used to do a lot of abnormal activities first thing is that uh, she had a habit of night walking night walking that she wakes up at midnight and then she opens the door and she keeps on walking in the veranda mm. now this uh, um, problem was solved like uh, i told the uh, her roommate now her roommate was very scared and it was exam time and there were not many rooms where she can be shifted okay the girl had another problem that she always expected that people will give her some importance or people will give her some attention always and now otherwise it is fine but during the time of exam all these girls are busy with their studies even she if she wants to gossip or talk to someone they tell that okay okay no issues you just uh, leave, leave us alone we need to study so this is actually she could not resist this means she could not digest this uh, when such incident used to happen uh, she used to become when such incident used to happen she used to become very uh, very uh, upset uh, upset then uh, she used to uh, do some activities which were uh, paranormal uh, especially then uh, this actually a uh, lot of means she had that means she had multiple mental disorder not the one single mental disorder night walking is one of them and then uh, then night walking was solved like i told that uh, there are two means uh, this one uh, two locks in the door one at the top of the door one of the bottom of the door uh, so i asked uh, her roommate to put the bottom of the door and the uh, top of the door both simultaneously locked so when the girl wakes up she starts walking goes to the door tries at the top of the door top of the door she open but she does not bend and open the bottom of the door lock and when she cannot open the door she comes back and sleeps again so this way it was solved but the other problem could not be solved uh, so there were man so what happens there was a prolonged engagement and persistent data collection is required that means you have to watch that girl simultaneously so this the girl sister so i could not enter inside Um, but mm-hmm. i can there is an area where we can call the girls and talk to them so we talk to them and we ask the warden to be very extra cautious about this and then we detected that what were the reasons whenever she is given affection what the warden told that you come and sleep with me uh, sleep in my uh, uh, room mm, uh, room is quarter has a uh, quarter so you come to my quarter then warden give her food uh, cook her food warden talk with her for some long Uh, at that time everything was normal that means whenever she is given attention she becomes normal but whenever she loses attention that was a prob- she faces a problem so that was uh, uh, decided over pro- um, prolonged engagement with the uh, case uh, research uh, rich description ensures that there is a sufficient level of details about the study of phen- of the phenomena so that others might draw similar conclusion so there should be a, uh, as uh, when uh, this engagement will be prolonged the description will become rich description of the event cases counter examples and examples will become very strong so that others can draw similar conclusion based on this case uh, triangulation is a search of multiple data sources to try and build up a complete picture of the phenomenon now when this uh, say this girl when you study it simultaneously uh, like what was her, her family life and uh, why she has this uh, did, did she have any uh, occurrences of such event in her past um, uh, wh- how she developed night walking uh, why she asked for more uh, attention etc this type of things when we cover uh, all these things uh, two three four five things together then we go for triangulation triangulation means relating different aspects of the study that means you match them and study them together Uh, member checking is the presentation of findings of the study to original participant so that they can comment whether their perspective are accurately portrayed now you this you cannot do in this case because if you want to uh, put the result before the girl then you have to speak many things which she may not like because she is actually uh, having some mental disturbances but suppose in an organization uh, something is there they could not perform well 
uh, their ranking is going down um, their progress is not satisfactory uh, their uh, uh, means uh, uh, competitors are doing better than them in such cases we whatever result we we'll reach from one and first and the third step this can be placed before uh, the before the member that is the concerned organization or their govern uh, means uh, uh, governance uh, or the or their authorities and uh, this may be discussed about that these are the things we are finding so are you uh, do you agree with it uh, next uh, fifth uh, point is that uh, the descriptant information is uh, the acknowledgement of such observation and information that goes contrary to uh, study key things so these are the and uh, descriptant information uh, to acknowledge of such observation and information that goes contrary to studies uh, to to the subjects key things uh, clarify one's biases uh, as a researcher is to maintain a caution about preconceptions that might tilt the conclusion so whenever the uh, researcher starts um, the study he should not start the case with a preconception but rather he should um, base the study on the methods on the data that he gets or the data that he collects or the data that is encountered data means here information pre briefing is uh, to list the name of person other than the researcher to review the findings so that it makes sense that means if you put your findings before a expert board to find out that this is a quality uh, qualitative research i have performed and this is how things can be understood and made finally an external auditor who is selected from outside to review the overall logic coherence and consistency of findings uh, so these are the different steps that uh, actually was uh, uh, developed by chris well these eight steps which one should follow when uh, to become a successful qualitative researcher now let us go to that when to take up the qualitative approach before deciding upon your approach of research you need to ask yourself certain questions like uh, Uh, certain questions uh, like what kind of phenomenon are going to, are you going to study so this is uh, what type of phenomenon it is related to human experience which cannot be counted or expressed in terms of number does it relate to subjective experience or cultural characteristics personal experience or comparison of things which are in tangible in nature indicable means which cannot be quantified which cannot be measured if there are something like this seriousness sincerity honesty so these are the some of the questions which we need to ask that if the question answer to these questions are yes then we should go with a qualitative research um, so these are at least uh, last two questions is it related to human experience which can be uh, counted or expressed cannot be counted or expressed in number does it related to subjective experience or cultural characteristics personal experience or comparison of intangible so these uh, three things are the most important uh, aspect uh, now what do you know about the phenomena you can get to know by putting yourself in the environment by talking to people or by studying the material already in existence about it so to know about the phenomena that you are studying what are the things that you can do one thing is that do you can put it into into such a situation if possible uh, for example you want to know about the um, uh, say uh, customer queues in a particular bank uh, what is the tragedy of the customer or what are the, are the uh, difficulties that the customer of a particular bank uh, faces uh, so what you can do you can become a customer and face it yourself Uh, but then all the time it may not be uh, uh, possible because you may want to know the pain of a cancer patient what type of pain means not only physical pain but along with this there is a pain from the society uh, that society yet to take the cancer is a, a, a disease which is uh, not uh, cannot be communicated but even then uh, it, uh, many people don't uh, um, encourage cancer patient uh, entertain cancer patients at their home Uh, only when some member of their family become cancer patient they become conscious about it uh, in addition to that uh, the cancer patient also faces lot of financial hardship because the treatment of cancer is expensive as well uh, pain tremendous because difficult to take up things like 
chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. So, so in that case, uh, you cannot obviously put yourself to the phenomena, but you can keep talking to the people and their relatives to understand uh, that what are the issues that comes up to. Be clear about your goals because when you want to study the cancer patients, you should actually very much specific about your goal. What things related to the cancer patients you are going to study? Is it related to their physical pain? Is it related to their economic burden? Is it related to their social uh, reaction towards their uh, disease? Or is it something which is generalized? So this comparing and quantifying the phenomena. If you answer these questions positively, quantitative research is perhaps the right choice for you. So these are the ways in which uh, you, uh, are you interested in interpreting, generating meaning and gaining a holistic view of the phenomenon rather than measuring, comparing and quantifying a phenomenon. If this is the case, then qualitative research is perhaps correct one for you. So there are many things you see. First thing that there is, should be some problem with the measurement. Uh, second thing is that it should not be very much specific, rather it should be generalized. Having all these things in mind, we have to uh, look into this. So this is the way in which, uh, now let us sum up all the things that we have studied today um, so that we can go for a conclusion with this. If you have decided to embark upon qualitative research, get to do the following thing. Number one is that review the research studies that have been conducted on similar topic. It will help you to know research methods and strategies that are used and help you understand the suitability of a method in the context of your study. So in the context of your study, what will be a suitable method uh, for this review of previous studies is very important. Review the literature and concerned research methodology, not only study the literature, who has studied and what result they have got, but what was the methodology used by those persons. Read broadly and deeply from scholarly literature to gain expertise in qualitative research. Because as qualitative research, the design is very flexible. So uh, when it is better to work or easier to work with a strict design, because a strict design is well defined. Before you start your research, everything is defined, starting from your questionnaire to your sample size, the method of collecting the sample, what you are going to do in case you get non-response from a particular member who is selected in the sample, everything is well defined. But when you are in qualitative research, you don't have anything like well defined. It is during the process of research based on uh, the responses that you are getting from the subjects, you have to design your uh, roadmap. And so your roadmap may be subject to several questions at a later stage when such research activities get published. Develop a self-study module of your methodology and technique and you will follow that you will follow in your study but this is very much tentative this is not something fixed so these are the different steps which we need to follow in uh, qualitative research so thank you for this uh, watching this presentation if you have some